as we're going live. Right, good afternoon. It's Sunday the 20th of June. Um, and I don't know about you, but it's quite sunny here. What's no. your what's your weather like today? We had um rain early and it's still dull. It's oh, not okay. Dull. Well sun obviously shines on the righteous, what can I say? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I might have caught a bit much of it. Wow. Red patches and sort of a line on my arms and yesterday spending a little bit much time out in the sun, but never mind. I could show you my tan line, but I'd only make you jealous. I'm sure you would. Um, <laughs> that, that I've exposed about as much flesh as is going to happen voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without frightening the horses, which is more important, I think. Oh, all right then. You could do it in the confines of your own property, though. Well, I could, and we have got a six-foot fence around the house, which helps enormously. So There you go. Oh, what are you getting out there? Who, uh, just, Mr. Just, just me top. Um, How are you getting on with that? Because it was only just started last time we saw you. Ooh. So what's that about? Mm, about 10 inches into the lower body from the underarm. And I still haven't duplicate stitched the garter rows that we're missing but I, I will you'll get there it's fine it's yeah, not hurry. i'm just doing the circular knitting and enjoying the absolute simplicity of just knit 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 oh it's my favorite you can stick something on the telly and not worry about losing your place because you get into your movie or whatever uh, i've been watching loki on disney plus Oh, do you know, I, that looks really good, but um, I was waiting to see if they'd got all the episodes out, because you know what I'm like, I can't be doing with waiting. No, it's it's one a week. We've yeah, still, exactly. still only had two episodes, so. Yeah. But they were, no. but they were good. Uh, I'll wait. Has anybody else been watching Loki? Has everybody got a brew or a beverage of some kind? I've got my office geek cup uh, and just some tea. Are you an office geek? I don't know, Jake bought it for me, so what does that oh. tell you? I've got Duchess Grey. I got my dad a Mr Grumpy mug for Father's Day. Happy Father's did Day, like Dad. It? He did, he had a good chuckle. Oh, um, yeah, that's a good one. I got my dad a um, craft beer, um, like camper thingy for him mm -hmm. to try. I think Ooh, it had yes. three different beers in it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so that'll be nice. There's no point getting my dad alcohol because he can't drink, really. My dad doesn't drink very much. Those three will last him until next, well, maybe till Christmas. Mm. He, he really doesn't drink a lot. And and there's no point getting him a bottle of wine because he won't be able to drink the whole of the bottle. So, Well, yeah. And my mum doesn't drink at all, so she couldn't help him. Oh, well. Yeah. It's a bit of a waste, isn't it, really? It is. Mm. I um I got sent a video by Rosie yesterday of the Scooby Gangs night out on Friday. I'm not yeah, allowed to fun. post it on social media, but my goodness. <laughs> uh, Chip had found a sergeant's police jacket in a charity shop. Right. And, and was wearing that with some dark trousers. And he managed to find um, a police bowler hat, you know, one of the PCSO hats. Oh, yeah. Um. So apparently on a previous drunken night out, he was telling people to social distance and get a mask on, get a mask on. Why haven't you got a mask on that dog? And <laughs> things like this. Love it. Um, and one of his mates had dressed up in an orange jumpsuit, so of course was his prisoner. Yeah. Um, Jake was shaggy, Dan was Scooby, so there's a photograph that Jake's still to send me of him sort of holding uh, Scooby, you know, like shaggy oh, dog. Oh, yeah, like he jumped in his arms. Scooby's jumped into his arms. And they, yeah. were, they were planning to get a baguette from Tesco and do one of them pictures where you, like, put the baguette behind your mouth but go, ah, as if you yeah. speed ate it like shaggy does. Yeah, um, but I don't know whether they got around to that. 
Um, Rosie's sister and her friends were the power something girls. They were all very, very glamorously dressed, I have to say. Um, yeah, the power puff girls. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. Um, who else? Uh, Jay was Velma. Rosie was dressed as Daphne. Fran was dressed as Fred with the most outrageous yellow, bright blonde wig that you can imagine. Love it's absolutely it. fantastic. Uh, Jake Haley and another guy who I don't know uh, were dressed as the uh, Super Mario Brothers or something like that. It was some computer uh, gamey yeah. thing. Um, it's something like that, anyway. It's all a bit beyond me. Um, who else was dressed up? I think that oh someone arrived dressed as Ozzy Osbourne and that really was quite convincing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that was exceptionally well done. There was another one wearing a poncho and a gringo moustache. All right. So, uh, claiming to be a Mexican bandit. <laughs> um. So yeah, they uh, they had a great time. I think. Sounds like it. Sounds like there'll be a lot of wild stories that aren't for our ears. Probably not. I said to him, uh, what did you have to drink? Oh, oh God, what didn't I have to drink? Was, <laughs> was the answer. I thought, well, that sounds like a perfect 21st, doesn't it? Oh, it's Nita. Nita's in the house. Good morning, Nita. How are you Hi, this Nita. morning? Uh, have you got a drink? Are you on coffee? Is it early in the day for you? I, I think it's quite early morning, isn't it, for Nita? Yeah. And usually for Carol if she pops in as well. It might be coffee time. Yeah, it's usually coffee so. time for me early in the morning and then I switch to tea in the afternoon or juice I have actually got some juice I've got a new one it's um blackberry and blueberry oh okay because normally got... you get black currant don't you but it's blackberry so okay I got some different squash in Aldi there was a peach one and I got yeah. pear and apple squash that's really nice we're on Ooh. our third bottle of that yeah. It's been very popular with the young person in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what else have we got? I think there's the usual sort of summer fruits and orange and whatnot. And, and I got 40 ice pops when I was at Aldi earlier. Oh, you can't beat an ice pop. Well, sometimes you just want something cool and a drink, and they're half a sin each. So if yeah. you are Slimming World or anything like that, then... There's no big you deal. Feel... They're seven calories a piece, I think these particular ones are. So you could probably even have four. You feel like you're having a bit of a dessert for, as well, aren't you? For don't one you? sin. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just it's enough to satisfy a sweet craving without and even if you ate the whole pack of ten, you you've not ruined your day. Yay, go for it. Oh your meal. <laughs> Yeah, I was good. I was planning to sit outside, but it's it's gone slightly dull, and there is quite a breeze. It's been quite breezy all day. It's not been so warm at all this last week, has it? It was boiling here yesterday, really? uh, 18, mm -hmm. 19 degrees yesterday, and it's a similar heat today if you can get out of the breeze. So I've had the front window open, and then I had a back door up, and then, of course, I had this hurricane running between the two. So I've closed okay. everything now. So the dog's not very happy because she'd rather, she doesn't want to go out, but she wants to know that she can if she could. But then she wants you to tell her that she can go out by getting up and pointing out that the door's still open. Oh, yeah. And then shutting the door in case I sneak while she's having a pee and have a look. Because, you know, yeah, it's the kind exactly. of thing I do. Obviously, I yeah. look like that kind of person. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Oh, Nita, yeah. just on water this morning. What have you got on your hooks or needles at the moment, Nita? I'm still working on my emerald top. Oh. My very, very uneven knitting, I have to say. Well, it's only because you're picking it up and putting it down, I suppose, aren't you? Well, I just haven't done any knitting really for months. I'm just out of practice. I haven't it's done just a any case knitting. of getting my tension back. Just got no inclination to knit it's fine so are you crocheting at the moment aren't you i've picked up my hooks and just like learning because 
I've made a granny square blanket and that was about pretty much the only thing that I could do. So I'm just, you know, practicing. Look at that. That's a, what's it? Treble, triple crochet or something? Triple treble? I don't know. So what's that going to be? Well, I'm just playing at the minute. I've done um, just little, the little thingies. So that's me double crochet mm -hmm. half double crochet or whatever it's called mm -hmm. and then double treble maybe a double some i don't know and then i've done a, another one i'm just going through the book right well there's no <laughs> harm in that is there well i've never really properly learned and i got the lemonade top and it was obviously way above my skill set i'm looking at it going whoa what am i supposed to do now so uh, i thought do you know start what? at the beginning i was at a similar level a few years ago and I, I could pick up and do granny squares i could do granny blankets i could do blocks mm. i could do flowers and things like that but i never really felt confident and then i think jackie started doing sophie's universe and i thought you know there's a video for every step every row yeah. every preparatory row which isn't quite it's still around but it's it's something that you put other stuff on rather than a front facing round and all things like that and i thought there's a video to explain every step of this i am gonna have a go so mm -hmm. i found it the other day and i'm oh, really yeah. quite pleased with what i achieved even though i didn't do the full blanket it's not mahusive yeah um i'm quite pleased so would you like to see what i did just literally Definitely. following the tutorial videos yeah of course not you know not it wasn't like I was super clever or anything else. Let me make sure I don't lose my knitting. One moment. Oh, Six. she's off. She ran away. Hopefully she'll come back. Now, enough with the tail. Thank you. There she is. Hurrah. So was Emma panicking? Yeah. Was she doing the, you, you've left me on my own I thing. said, I said, oh, she's disappeared. I hope she comes back. Well, maybe. Oh, look at that. Wowee. I can't, yeah, even, I mean, I can't even remember what round I got to, to be honest. I've ripped quite a bit back because this sort of cut off corner shape here Mm. Gets gets quite big, and then you you knit some corners, and then it ends up not being quite a square. Um, and I didn't want to do that, so I I stopped where I'm at, and not really bothered with anything else. But I feel like I learned a great deal. That is just just gorgeous. by doing that. That's unbelievable. And that's just Stylecraft Special DK. I've yeah. still I've still got to do more of these little bits here, so yeah. I've done those two, but I've not done. Oh, I've done them there, there, but not that one. That's lovely. And then these ones are missing as well. So there's odd little bits of embellishments I've still got to do. Did you choose the colours, or was it the colours that you were told to use? Uh, I think there were recommended colours for the kits in like Shapius or something like that. Shapius, uh, uh, however you say it. I yeah, don't I know. don't know. Yeah. What? Yeah. Anyway, that yarn. Sheepsy. There were colours in that, oh, it's and, <laughs> and then um, somebody did the colours for Starcraft Life and Starcraft Special DK. Right. Uh, so I'll have probably followed a lot of that, unless what I did, yeah. unless what I did, I think I maybe picked up the Lucy original colour pack of oh, however right. many balls of wool, 19 yeah. balls of wool or something like that. Um, so just a couple. And, and probably just used those in whatever order was closest to the special DK one and swapped a few out. Right. Because that's usually how I tend to work on these things. If there's another colour pack I like, I'll swap it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I really like it. And it was very enjoyable. And it wasn't hard. That's the it thing. Because hard. it was, well, every step was explained. And as long as you count your stitches, like knitting. 
Well, I still sometimes lose one. On crochet? Yeah. Lots of people so, do, um, or, or they end up with wider or narrower edges. Yeah, they... that's that's the one. I always tend up end up narrower for some bizarre reason. Well, I know it's not a bizarre reason. I know what's going on. <laughs> but actually, of these, I've managed to keep them pretty straight on the edges for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, result, oh, eh? Good, isn't it? Well, yeah. we've got a link to uh, Nita's latest project. Let's have a look, look. We like to have a little look. It's called Charles Aaron Cardigan. Oh. That's a pretty yarn, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Let's have a look at the pattern. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty, nice. isn't it? Yeah. That's not an easy knit. Do you know, actually, because it's a child's one and you're not doing massive panels, it's, yeah, it's a lot easier than doing an adult garment. And if you're going to do cables, that's a good way to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you learn about the shaping and everything else while you're doing it, and those bubble stitch would do me though. I'm not oh. a fan of the bubble stitch. It's gorgeous, but it drives me mad. I don't know. Are there any bubbles? Yeah, like on the on the sleeve, it's like a blackberry stitch or something they call it. No, it it's really... it's just moss stitch. That no, no, on the other sleeve. Go over on the other sleeve there there yeah that's just moss stitch double moss that looks like blackberry stitch to me no it's just double moss mm. yeah i've got this book um this pattern in a book it, yeah right. it's, it's actually not a, a difficult one to do yeah, obviously right. you have to pay attention to what row you're on mm -hmm. um as as you would with lace or anything else not not um stocking stitch in the round though is it <laughs> no it's not stocking stitch in the round Do we, we're not we're not going to talk her out of this are we <laughs> my favorite stitch ever <laughs> just knit 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 yeah knit, knit, knit. yeah just don't knit, do knit, anything knit. yeah that's the one the knights that say knit yeah yeah that's the one <laughs> just go round and round and round it's just something to do with my hat. I'll tell you what I have noticed since I've been, you know, playing with the old crochet hook. I'm just disgusted with myself and the amount of clicking my wrist does. You know, when I'm moving the hook, it's like click, 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 like an old lady. It's not good, is it? Maybe you need to look at your technique. It's just, I've got clicky wrists. Maybe you need to hold your hand differently. I can't hold my hand differently. It's bad enough as it is. I've only just got the hang of this. It's looking you very know. good though, isn't it? What do you think, Nita? I think she's doing really well. Ooh. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the little cardigan in that beautiful yarn though, because it's just got such that a gentle yarn. The subtle, I've never seen subtle it print. Little it's print. Subtle gorgeous. print, isn't it, with that cream and a little bit of grey by the looks of it, and lavender. then the lilac and lilacy lavender, purpley colours. Very, very pretty. Very, very nice for a little girl. Do we know who it's for? Oh, there's a picture. Let me just show you a close up of the colours. Uh, that would help, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that! Isn't that lovely? Mm. so that's going to be really pretty it's nice um what other colors do they do it in can we see uh hang on oh look at the blues don't like that was ever going to be a question <laughs> <laughs> there's one that carnival looks a bit candy stripish doesn't it like refreshers yeah 
that's a sweet in the uk for anyone who's that's definitely like sweeties that one isn't it yeah like opal fruits or something yeah or whatever they're called now but probably Starburst. not called that anymore yeah yeah we've got some nice colorways i've not seen that one before all right so nita says definitely no bobbles in the pattern um and she finds people often following camps that they like texture or they like color work she gravitates to lace and cables and run away screaming from color work see i like all three um yeah, I, do. I, I don't enjoy doing bobbles i crochet my bobbles and that works for me yeah uh nita says that your crochet and emma looks very neat and not like someone just practicing and learning oh thank you yeah i'll send you that fiver later nita thank yeah, you yeah thanks yeah. for that <laughs> <laughs> you can get anyone to say anything if you try hard enough <laughs> well you know we've all got a price mostly it's yarn yeah <laughs> yeah no <or> fiber <laughs> exactly or the free pattern or something oh yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Oh, I haven't me. been on Ravelry in absolutely ages, mate. I, I'll tell you what, I've just not really been very, well, I don't know what the word is, motivated, organised, what? What's, what's the word? I do not know. I've just been reading. I've been doing a little bit of reading, but I've been busy working on the house and I've had quite yeah. a bit of work to catch up on. Um gardening so, yeah. i've been gardening a lot no i don't have much in the way of that to do must admit i need to go out and water my hosta later that my mum brought me the other week and said it needs water and i'm thinking yeah that's going to be dead soon oh dear <sighs> yeah, just, mm. either that or just pray for a lot of rain <laughs> um usually we have a lot of rain but it's quite dry at the moment june has been very dry it's been nice the though. last few days we've we've had a lot of, well i wouldn't say a lot but we have had rain this last week on a couple of occasions um the garden needed it without mm. a doubt yeah oh well my mum said found a shady spot for the hostel and thinking i haven't really got one that isn't in the back garden where mm. the remaining dog will eat it oh uh, yeah or dig That's it out of the pot so it's in yeah. the front garden in the shadiest spot I can find. So. Put an umbrella up for it. There is an umbrella up for it. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm kind of doing my best. <laughs> I hope your mum appreciates this effort. Probably not, but yeah. <laughs> People That's walking nice. past are like, is that an umbrella there for that plant? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that, why she put that plant behind the table and the chair and the umbrella? Well, yeah. it, apparently it likes shade. It's about to flower by the look of it. So. Right. I can't, oh, can't, can't, can't kill it until after that, can I? No, you can't, you can't. That'd be seriously bad form. Have you been inundated with grockles? Uh, oh, off comers yeah what do you call them up there uh two roads are off comers <laughs> right yeah oh uh, you know there's some more choice words for them at the moment because of the amount of fly tipping after people have been camping yeah you know, illegal and wild camping in places they're not allowed and leaving bags of human feces and things like that it's all a bit Lovely. disgusting really uh they uh, I would imagine these are typically people who usually go abroad, so I can't wait until they leave the country next year and stop crapping in the Lake District. Literally. <laughs> well, that's the problem. They're, you know, and they're leaving bags of it. And the thing is, the smell attracts cattle and sheep, and then you end up with strangulated hernias mm. and, an, an, and a, an animal that's worth anywhere between 100 and 500 pounds, sometimes more. There's got to be put to sleep because some idiot couldn't take away their own rubbish. Yeah. Um, so, not yeah, I've, I've not a lot of time for our visitors at the moment. Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just people being inconsiderate, really, isn't it? 
Well, they seem to think that they have some right to stop wherever they want and then just leave the mess. Did you see um, the state of London after the football on Friday night? Oh, I can imagine. The fountains were full of rubbish and no water. I just don't understand it. Well, I don't either, but there you are. It is what it is. So someone yeah. asked me what side of the fence I was on for the England-Scotland match. Um, and my stock answer is I'm on the England side because that's where I live. Yeah. <laughs> And if I lived in Scotland, I'd be on the Scottish side of the fence. So, you there know. There you go. Easy peasy. Uh, I just think, you know, there's, well, I'm not a big fan of football, to be honest. Um, I was watching the um, Denmark-Sweden match when Ericsson dropped to the floor. Oh, um, yeah. And that was quite distressing. Um, and I, I just changed channel after that. And I, a shout out to the BBC. What a bunch mm. of utter knobs you are for focusing that camera on his sobbing, distraught, hysterical partner who thinks that her husband is basically, well, partner is dead. Yeah. Because they're trying to resuscitate him. And technically he was. And I think that was yeah. totally lacking in class compassion or anything else they should have gone back to the studio they they tried to claim that the fa direct the shots um or that the, you know that whoever's in charge of the european league direct uh, what's going on at the stadium but i'm not buying that well even not. if that's even if that's true right playing devil's advocate even if they don't get a choice over what images they get direct from the stadium i'm sure they have the choice to go back to the, the, the studio exactly they could have cut the feed and that's yeah. what i did on they didn't have to be focused on what was going on in the stadium no they didn't uh so yeah they very very lacking in class compassion humanity whatever you want to call it it was a oh, disgrace the bbc all over at the moment isn't it that's yeah i mean that said i'm glad he's okay and he's he's getting some machine put his knee to um restart the heart if it happens again because oh, right. they found some sort of arrhythmia or something bless him has he got um cardiomyopathy not sure what he's got mm. bless him um, but yeah it, that was a bit weird I was weird evening. I'm 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 a huge sports fan. I love sports. And even football itself when it's played properly. I just don't like footballers. I'm sorry. So uh, it's not my favourite. But I will be looking well, at the Olympics. I, I digress. I think Peter Crouch will have gone up in your estimation. There was a clip online of him being interviewed and somebody said, you know, talk about hitting above your weight you know oh abby, yeah yeah abby how on Abby's earth did gorgeous, you break her? Yeah. and he said well funnily enough i met prince harry and he came into the dressing room before one of the tournaments we're all getting ready and he introduces himself and he's chatting to everybody and he went up to me and he went crouchy he went yeah uh you know your highness and oh don't don't worry about any of that formality how on earth did you bag abby and he said i wish i'd met him since because i'd be saying how the bloody hell did you get megan <laughs> <laughs> oh dear and yeah. that, that really made me laugh yeah. he's the spitting image of his granddad i don't see where these rumors keep persisting from that he's not prince charles's son I don't know. He's very like Philip as a young man. He is so much like Philip. And the older he gets, the more he's like him. I know. But, you know, people are just often looking for trouble, aren't they? Yeah, they just like to stir the pot. Yeah. I'm just doing increases on the lower body at the moment to get from size large, which is what I'm doing for the upper body, to somewhere around about an XL for the lower body. Or maybe a touch more ease. I don't know. I'll just keep going until I like I like the level of room that's in there. Yeah. It's and the whole it, point of making your own stuff. Well, and it being cotton, it's gonna 
it's going to stretch widthways more than it stretches lengthways. So I need to just be aware of adding more length than I think I need. Yeah. Oh, it'll be lovely. Hopefully you'll be so. wearing it next time. I'm only on the third ball of yarn. What is it you're using again? Uh, it's Serda to double knit cotton. What colour is that? Terracotta. It's lovely. I really like it. Um, I'm going to use it with a couple of other colours for a summer top I'm playing around with a design for at the moment. So. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Have yeah. You done any design work either? Um, I've done some grading for the wheat shoe sweater. Yeah. And I was going to start the cardigan uh, and then I can get those into test soon. By soon, I mean the, in the, ne the next sort of eight weeks, not, you know, not immediately. Because uh, I need to make one of another size and I need to make the cardigan. Right. Well, and I then I need to write the instructions for making the upper body fit your your sort of shoulder seam positioning right. for the modified drop shoulder yeah but that the lower body is big enough for any sort of lumpage or shape differences that you've got down there everyone's you know got a bit of lumpage here and there haven't they oh yeah definitely i'd like to blame mine all on the pandemic but i'd be lying <laughs> Well, I was having this conversation with one of the ladies at work and she was saying how she thought she'd put on about two stone. And I said, you know, to me, it was the second lockdown, the one that come at Christmas, you know, January to March. Because mm -hmm. the first one, we had such gorgeous weather and I was outside and I was in the garden and I was still running and it was fine. But the, the January one, I just continued as if it had been Christmas for the next three months. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one that kind of got to me because it all of last year didn't bother me at all. Mm. And it was around about November, that run up to Christmas where they kept saying, oh, you can definitely have Christmas. You can have this, you can have that. And then as soon as Christmas Day was over, actually we're shutting everything down again because we shouldn't have let you have Christmas. And it yeah. would have been easier if they'd just said, actually, Christmas is cancelled this year. I'd have found that easier than this worldy won't they stuff. Yeah. Um, right, so Nita sent me another link. Oh. Oh, what's this? So is this um is this some quilting? That oh, is yeah. amazing. And oh, look at that little heffy lump. Karate oh, heffy lump. I'm oh. always in awe of anyone who can do quilting because it's so precise. Aren't they beautiful? It's gorgeous. Is she is she making those for our friends? Are these for gifts, Nita? Who, who's the lucky recipient of these? Because that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that little boxing monkey. Oh, that's really lovely. Tell us more about this, Nita. We need to know. Yeah. Oh, so Helen's uh, in the house. Helen Gibson. Yay. Hello. Hi, Helen. Uh, yeah, Helen's been gardening. Yeah, how's Gilly doing? Um, so she says, I started my diet in the second week of January and I'm still going. Well done. Um, well I, done. I, I didn't go back until May. Mm. Um, and I am sort of steadily losing small amounts of weight each week, apart from the week of the funeral where I had 13 whiskies and ate my own weight in quiche and put on a pound. I've now lost that pound again, so I'm back on the... Like a good week, that. Uh, oh, honestly, it was such a good day. It was totally worth it. And, it, and it, you know, it was a one-off. It You know, it's yeah. not something I'm going to do. Well, I don't know. Every, well, the plan's not to do that every week. Anyway, put it that way. So... What a way to live. <laughs> um, does anybody want to look at the new releases? I've seen a few tops and things that sort yeah, of I caught my anywhere. eye. You haven't been anywhere. Well, work. I've been to work. Does that well, count? Yeah. Mm, I suppose so. Have you got news to give people on that front? 
or that I finished work yesterday. No, not yesterday, Friday. It's Sunday today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No longer doing said job. I now have a job as a teacher again. Why, why, why have I done this, Lorraine? This is because um, you wanted the challenge. Is it? Yeah. I think, I think it was temporary insanity more than anything. Oh, you'll be fine, won't she? She'll be absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, so I've started sharing. So we've got this new release uh, by Sari Nord like Nordlund that. called Rococo. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Let's see if I can get some of the details. A little bit of bobble going on, but you don't have to do the bobble. You can bead. And I twisted crochet rib. my bobbles. Um, yeah, twisted rib. Very pretty. I know it's a yoke, but very nice. It's not and an in-your-face yoke, though, is it? No, and it's very nice shaping on a lady with some curves. Skims yeah. the curves quite nicely. Um, it's Gorgeous. double knit yarn. Loving the highlights. I really want to know what colour that lipstick is. It's a lovely soft autumn colour, and it looks amazing on her. And she's had some little highlights put in, which look very nice. She's just rocking the look full stop, isn't she, bless her? Oh, God, yeah. Um, so I thought I'd show you that one. Um, I'm in hot right now at the moment. Maybe I should just go into um, new releases. Maybe that would be more sensible. I'll do that. You see, the added pattern needs. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do sweater first and then we'll look at tops. Because some of these things are sort of older designs that obviously people have just added to Ravelry um, rather than newer patterns. Yeah, some of those look very old, bless them. <laughs> well, yeah, there's definitely some dating going on. That one, the Annabelle Fox ones in particular, it's just obviously just found Ravelry. Yay. Uh, I thought that this was cute, the little aviator jacket. Oh, that's lovely. And I like the little dungas to go with it. Looks cute. That's adorable, isn't it? Um, I thought this was pretty. Oh, that's Again, nice. nice simple colour work. Yeah. Not sure what the iris is. I don't know. And there's another one there. Oh, wow. That one's a bit more complicated it's gorgeous well and i like the higher contrast with that one as well it really stands out doesn't it very eye-catching i wouldn't have the color work at the hips i might have some at the wrist and i might have some at the elbow to highlight my smaller waist mm. in comparison to my hips so you know put the the eye where we want it to be i think Is... I'll, i want to make that moody blues you know do you Oh, yeah. The UK facet. I mean, look at that. Look at it. Yeah, it's not going to let me um, zoom Definitely in. Definitely typical of him, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Of an era. Yes. Yes. There's definitely but, quite a few um, older ones coming through at the minute, aren't there? Yeah, I thought this was pretty, um, as and when the picture loads. If the picture loads, oh, there, oh, there it, is. it is. It's hiding. Yeah. Oh. So a little bit of shell colour work, and then there's some sort of like shell chains or something there, and lace and zigzags and things. I thought it was quite clever. Nice. A nice way to actually use up a reasonable amount of stash that wouldn't make you a top in each yeah. colour, but would make you quite a loose fitting sweater. Um, and I quite like that. I love uh, Vera Valimaki. Um, just very pretty off the shoulder. And then it's got this wiggly, wormy kind of cable going on. Sweet thought that thing. that was that was cute. She's called it framework. But yeah, it just made me think of snakes. Oh, I like that. Thought that was pretty for a yoked sort of Persia top. She's called that. 
I thought that was nice for summer and you could make it long sleeved or short sleeved and you could make the neck tighter if you had sort of slimmer shoulders you could put a crochet chain around the neck or mm -hmm. do a bit more ribbing in very small needles or something to yeah. you know adapt to fit to your body um this one caught my eye stephanie lotven i'd love to see a curvy model and uh, she's absolutely rocking that one she's stunning she's so happy look at her i know beautiful um wasn't sure about this photograph nice top though it is a really it's a bit long for me yeah longer ribbing very pretty looser fitting cardigan um kind of a retro look maybe that's the reason behind the pose maybe yeah uh, it might, might be a bit of irony going on there. I don't know. Um, but it did kind of stand out. Oh, christening set. Was it, um, who made the christening gown? Was it Mary? No, it was Alison. Oh, of Her course. Sister, yeah, yeah, she? yeah. Yeah. Stunning that was. A lot well, of work. Well, one of her sister's children, not her sister, because obviously well, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be a lot of knitting, that wouldn't it? That would be a lot of knitting, yes. <laughs> uh, quite a few Lana Grocer patterns um, this time sort of popping up, isn't there? I don't know who Quail Studio is, but some no. interesting stuff going on there. I like that Pina one. Go back up a little bit. There, Pina by Quail Studio. That looks nice. You just put that on over a dress, couldn't you, of an evening? Yeah, very pretty sort of three-season piece. Mm. Nice and adaptable. Definitely. Oh, some of these photos are fab, aren't they? Look at the hair. I know. And, and that bright yellow top. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, I love it. Shining onto her orange makeup. Bless. wings i know i mean a, a lot of these seem to be older patterns that are only just being added you know and that's, yeah. all, that's all good it's all interesting someone's um, had a, a good day loading them all up they have yeah i'm looking for one um jutta hintemstein she had um a top released the other week and i think some, some, some somebody on i'm pretty sure we looked at it oh um but someone was um in one of the facebook groups with a photo of one of her designs they'd found on a website all right but not linked to the pattern so i guess someone's using her photo so i, I got in touch oh. with the lady and said where did you find it because yeah. uh, i'd like to let the designer know um thought this was interesting this tulip gansey uh, Mid midori uh, oh, I like that. Now, some people say high rose, some say heroes A. I have no idea. Let's just say Midori designed this and it's got tulips on the top. It's nice. I like it. Very pretty. And she always goes up to around about a 70 inch bust. So there's always plenty of room um, for as much ease or as little ease as you want. And, you know, just the ability to make larger sizes. Yeah. Um, our good friend Jared Flood. Oh, yes, Jared Flood. Yeah. Bit of, bit of boxy going on. Yeah. I do tend to associate him with more sort of fitted. Um, but boxy does seem to be the theme with a, a lot of designers at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah. It's been a while, actually, the box has been in. I think it's ease of knitting as well, because you're basically knitting a square, aren't you? well yes you are and i think it maybe it just shows that i think we do tend to like to cover ourselves up and pretend that we haven't got curves and i think that's a bit yeah. sad really that's uh even far by andrea mori did i tell you her one of her patterns was on the sewing bee you did wool and honey is it it was is yeah. That the one? yeah that is a really pretty sweater it got a lot of comments on because um, I searched, I was looking, I said to Caitlin, I said, I know that one, but I can't 
put my finger on what it was. So I went on the forums and searched for the sewing bee and, and that's how I found out what the pattern name was. Loads of people were talking about it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I bet she saw a bit of an uptick in sales. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, yeah. It's good to think that a mention like that does make a difference to somebody's business, doesn't it? it kind of gives us all a bit of hope that maybe yeah. we'll be noticed like that. <laughs> One day. It would be way cool. It would, it would. Although, no mind, look, it would be worn by Joe Lysett. <laughs> <laughs> I would love Joe Lysett to wear one of my tops, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> love that man. He is very funny. Have you seen that story he tells about the parking ticket? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, you definitely need to watch that one because someone sent him a photograph of his car allegedly illegally parked and right. someone's holding a piece of paper with a marker pen. It says taxi zone. Um, well, obviously, that's not an official sign that proves it was parked in a taxi zone. So he sends them a picture of his car with him stood in front with a piece of paper saying, the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't possibly be my car. As you can see from this photograph, I was indeed on the moon. The, the moon. day in question. And it just goes on and on and on. And eventually they have to go, yeah, we've cancelled your parking ticket, Mr. Lysett. Because oh, they, they just can't stand him going at them. And I, <laughs> it just really tickled me. He is he is one of those people that can't argue their way out of a paper bag. Yeah, I quite like this one, sort of a dolman-shaped fab. Dolman shaped sleeve with sort of the sampler effect of the squares. I thought that was pretty. Very 80s looking. Yeah, I like it. Um, you know, you can see that in white cotton in a Kim Harv Cargreaves book, can't you? Yeah. Um, what else have we got? Have you, you've not seen the one you want yet, have you? No, I'm just quietly scrolling through and seeing what leaps out of the page at me. Um, pine corn, that's pretty. It's a nice colour. Quite, it's going to be quite thick though, quite warm, quite a heavy yarn. Yeah. I don't know that I like wearing anything that thick myself. But I couldn't wear the height up on my neck. No, I feel like I'm being strangled if I wear anything like that these days. Mm. So yeah, there's a lot of big retro theme in yeah that's been added. It's a lot of 80s, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Mind you, the 80s are big again at the minute, aren't they? I suppose it had to happen at some point. I mean, is it going to be leg, <laughs> leg warmers and neon? Are you going and to get your neon skirts. out? Oh, so Nita says the cardigan, uh, the flower, her flower girl is expecting her first baby in August and needs to make one that's more girl-centred as her. And DH are not finding out ahead of time what it is. So that's oh, good. Oh, right. Um, Helen, the walking in circles with the st sock, sock madness final socks. Oh, is it finally done? See, I, it's gone on for a long time. Oh my God, Helen, I just, I'm totally not worthy. I don't know how you've got through that. I how just, many pairs of socks was that? Like nine? Well, nine I think, socks? I can't remember. And I can understand sort of the logic of it if you know if you've got really tiny feet, um, yeah, that you've got an advantage over someone who's got great big canoey hoofters. Um, Which is why do... they make you do a certain size, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is um, Hannah. What's he think? Who we met Hannah. at so, yeah. Yeah, Yandel, and it's called Marai. Um, and I just really like this asymmetric detail looks lovely on her very pretty it's uh, kestrel linen i think there's five or six patterns in the collection um and you can see it here on a, a couple of ladies with a, a little bit more curve very flattering breaks up yeah. the line of the tummy or the hips or anything and then there's but, this is that vertical um, line is she wearing a t-shirt underneath that she hasn't done yeah. a long sleeve 
She has done a long sleeve. No, I think it's a T-shirt. Is it? Oh, no, it is a T-shirt. You're right. Yeah. It's got a bit of a speckle in it. I thought it was white, but it's not. I like that one. That's a nice colour. Very pretty. Nice That's styling. That's a colour, that one. Yeah, I could probably wear that. Um, yeah, but that, that caught my eye. It's lovely. What else have I got in my cat that I haven't bought yet? There is that Rococo that we looked at. There's the wool and honey sweater. Yeah, I knew honey. that. I, if, I, if I want to show you and, I'm, and I haven't put it in a bundle, then I, I stick it in my cat. <laughs> she um, apparently, I missed the bit, but Caitlin said that um, she'd knitted it herself. And then when you're looking on the forum, someone said that she'd taken a month to knit it. And now they were feeling not only ad inadequate with their sewing skills, but their knitting skills as well. Well, she might not have done anything else that month. Well, exactly. And she looked quite small. She probably did the smallest size. Right. So let's you know, know what, what, so what you're is there. Okay, so it's fingering weight. So, yeah, that would probably take me about a month. I mean, look how many projects she's got. Two and a half thousand. I know. Right, no, it's having that sort of zeitgeist thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've been dithering about this Barocco collection as well, Barocco Chai. Bonnie. Because um, it's twelve ninety five for the whole collection. Or oh, the one that I just want on its own is six quid. So you might as well, yeah, yeah. you know, if you're going to go for it, you might as well have the collection. Very pretty nice. lace, flattering fit. It's nice. What's that knitted in? That's Barocco Chai, which is double knit linen and flax. So Drops Bell would right. be a good substitute for that, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of what I've been looking at recently. I've got a Drops Bell, I think. Yeah. Drops Bell. So Helen says she made six pairs of socks. Haven't done wow. Kate's semi-final ones or the final ones as yet, but she will make them shorter. Um, I thought Kate's colour work sock was beautiful. Very intriguing. Very clever pattern. Um, yeah. I, for me, unless you can make it to fit you or someone in your family, it, it is just an exercise in knitting. And I know they'll fit someone, but fingering weight socks where i'm not going to get to wear them it's so not happening uh, or I, even a gift for someone extremely special yeah oh god yeah well, jake always says he loves hand knit socks and i always say yeah that's nice <laughs> <laughs> that's good for you isn't it <laughs> yeah i'm so glad you love them and my if, Caitlin always says, you say to her, oh, I like this or that or whatever. And she goes, oh, good for you. Yeah. Well, and it, it does this thing of it, can you give me a lift somewhere? And I say, well, I can. It, <laughs> sure, sure, surely the question is, will I? <laughs> Would you please? <laughs> or could you please? Yeah, because it's a different proposition, isn't it? It is, yeah. I, I, can, I can give you a lift, whether I choose to or not. It's a totally, yeah, exactly. totally different point. Exactly. Choose your language carefully. Well, words matter, don't they? They do. They do. That's the thing. So what's everybody got planned? Are you going to be doing any summon it for yourself? Is anybody knitting for themselves? I know Helen's working on that gorgeous sweater uh, in the Colour Mart cashmere yarn. Which sweater is this? Oh, you'll have to have a look on the after party garment along oh, right. the thread. Oh. It's an is absolute... it for herself? It's, a, it's going to be a design, isn't it, Helen? Oh, I'm sure it's oh. a design. It's beautiful. If you want to paste a link, um, I know Emmy would love to see it. It's I absolutely gorgeous is it in blue nope oh no it's not blue it's, it's it's green i'm absolutely green. certain that she did that on purpose <laughs> <laughs> i put money on that fact that she yeah did it on purpose. yeah i bet <laughs> i bet 
no. very rude, you know. All things blue are mine. Well, but it's not blue, so it's not oh. yours, is it? It's very disappointing. Well, I'm sure it is. Let me see if I can find it. It's going to be fair. Oh, here we go. I found the link. Yay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so if you're feeling inadequate about your sewing and your knitting speed, just have a What's look at this. It's about three days. <laughs> after, after sock madness, it's probably taken Helen about 10 minutes to do this. Yeah, I bet. It might be faster than socks, though. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Beautiful, I think isn't I might it? be needing all things green as well. But the colour is just absolutely beautiful and she's wound every skein or ball into three for three strands Wow! of each colour. So, yeah, it, even that preparatory work and everything else, it's just stunning. Oh, my goodness. Cashmere lace weight. <gasps> I know. We're not worthy. So the colour is it? Earl Grey, Fawn, yeah. Olive, Bottle, Pine, Black. Uh, they sound lovely as well. That's... See, I like it when they give the colours a nice name. Well, yeah. Um, so, yeah, she's she's sort of measuring after each section. Right. To get sort of exact uh, weights for every little bit that, that has been used. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Really stunning. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Well done, Helen. Well, yeah, and uh, I suppose it's, is that something that when you come to test, you'll want people to do with several strands to get the same sort of effect? Or will they be able to use, say, a fingering weight or something else as long as it gets the right gauge hmm. so, yeah. It'd be interesting to see the difference wouldn't it it will yeah and so, and if somebody's got a nice gradient or something where they can play around with different colors for the the color exceptions that would that would be interesting to see as well but yeah you never know what people are going to do out in the wild do you once you've once you go yeah. in with a pattern they they come up with things that you would never have thought of yeah, it's amazing to me sometimes the things that people do. So I've been looking with great interest at Dingley Dell, that Isabel Kramer pattern that we looked at last time. Um, mm. Just the stripe variations and colour combinations that people have been adding have been really lovely. Um, so inventive, aren't they? Well, and you can do that with a lot of sweaters, can't you, where you've got a, a simple or basic shape. It's, it's nice that people feel that even during the test they can make it individual. Mm. Oh, dear, are we keeping you up? You are. Aren't how terrible of you. It's because someone marched into my bedroom at about 3 o'clock this morning, presumably having come home for a, a night out. Yeah. Uh, put the light on to look for my um, charging bank and my oh, iPhone right, yeah. cable to take to his room because the three that I've bought him is somewhere in his hazmat zone and he oh, can't find right, them yeah. and he'll have killed the cable. Uh, oh, yeah. So he's been borrowing mine. So when I eventually woke up again this morning, I was thinking, oh, God. So he, he did apologise for waking me up, but... And, and that's fine. Wake me up by all means, but put the landing light on. Don't put the Mahusif light on in the middle of the bedroom that makes it look like there's a burning hot sun when someone's fast asleep snoring in bed. It's, yeah. It's just and really you, not done. <laughs> were you hoping to enjoy a very rare lion? Well, I kind of enjoyed a very rare lion in that I didn't get up till 7 o'clock. So that was... as much of a lion as i've had this year really i'm not i'm not 
I think I woke up about eight yesterday and today. But tomorrow, right, Monday morning, normally I walk the dog Monday to Thursday. But because Caitlin's finished college and everything, he is now taking over a Monday morning. Oh. And um, I've got a teaching conference at past eight, but it's on Teams. So my alarm's getting set for eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll get up, have a quick shower and a cup of coffee and sit down at the computer. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Lazy Monday morning for me. Awesome. Sounds good, doesn't it? It does. How long will that last? <laughs> What, the conference? No, Caitlin getting up with the dog. Oh, uh, well, she's been doing the Sunday for about two years. Oh, that's quite good then. So, unless she gets a job and we have to have a rethink. Well, I think it's only fair because Callum does two days. And oh, I was, does he? Yeah, and I was doing four and she was doing one and I said, this isn't fair. No, it's not. So, uh, so it's now more even because they do two each and I do three. Perfect. That's, that's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Very good. So I noticed that uh, Mary Do was making, uh, she had like a doily type thing that she'd knitted uh, for over her decking. All right. You know, a mahoosive doily. Uh, so there's been a lot of discussion about materials and a couple of us have suggested uh, baler twine. Apparently there's an international shortage of baler twine and of course the farmers need it. So she's got a load of uh, worsted weight cotton and Mary being Mary isn't just doing any old bit of circular lace. She's doing a kneebling pattern. Oh my goodness. I know. Um and she keeps saying, oh, well, you know, it's it's one I can do quite easily. But it's not TV knitting. You really have to look at your knitting all the time with a kneebling. Uh, when, yeah. you, when you're not looking at the chart or the written instructions going, what? Hey. <laughs> eh? Ke? <laughs> Ke? Say again. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, unbelievably complex and beautiful work. Just incredible yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just the thing of Mary saying, oh yeah, I can use really large needles and I'll just do a kneebling. <laughs> oh, well, is she tired? tired? No. Oh, I was going to oh, say, maybe. tired people have got time on their hands, haven't they? If maybe got, that's what it is. If I've got the gist of the situation right, I think there's various people being laid off and Mary might be taking that option and then yeah. got in you know, sorted enough to sort of put her around and decide what to do when she grows up. Well, I'd like to decide what I'm going to do when I grow up. I'm not planning to grow up, so I'm just procrastinating on that decision. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. Good. Yeah, my mother was complaining about my father and all his pairs of shoes and then all her pairs of shoes. And then my, my auntie admitted how many pairs of shoes she had. And I am gobsmacked. She's like Imelda Marcos. Excellent. And I must have a dozen, including the boots that won't go around my fat calves. <laughs> but, but I do hope I'll get back into someday and I'll keep hanging on to because, you know, they're boots. And they were expensive. They were hotters. <laughs> Interesting. I can't think. I've got a couple of pairs of like evening shoes that have been maybe worn once or twice. Mm. Get you know, brought out at Christmas to wear with the dress. And other than that, I think I've got running a pair of running shoes, a pair of wellies, a pair of summer shoes to wear to work, and a pair of winter shoes to wear to work. I'm oh. really boring, aren't I? Well, I'm like that. Um, yeah, I think my. Grand total was 10 at the most, and that's including my wellies. My sister's got huge, great big flipping bookshelves. But then it's... Shoes. Well, yeah, but then again, none of these people know about yarn, do they? That's true. That is true. Oh, Helen's asking, did I have a celebratory glass of wine or something for the by-election results? I didn't, but I did sort of quietly, yes! 
yes of course because we had stiffed it to the you know who's <laughs> so yeah i've just I, um i'm well I pleased just, with that well i've just bought a, a birthday card for callum for this week and it's a picture of boris johnson on it and it's saying open your presents but don't open your presents have some birthday cake but don't have any birthday cake <laughs> oh god <laughs> Let me see if I can find the card that Alistair sent to Jake. That was just genius, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Um, let me see if I can find the photograph um, on my telephone. Here we are. Um, Telling phone. Can you see that? Yeah. To get this card for you, I have to leave the house and interact with other humans. And on the inside, it says, "But you were worth it." But. Yeah. That's cool. It's a bit like the one I saw that said um, this card took a bit more effort than a Facebook post. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah very good. <laughs> oh, my dog's still snoring, which is a miracle at half past four on a Sunday afternoon, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Coco's asleep in her bed. She like her new bed. She loves it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's really settled into the only dog routine very quickly, more easily than I have. Yeah, <laughs> I we were upstairs the other day, and, and Jim, you know, if I go upstairs for a wee, everybody comes up. Yeah, uh, well, so I'm used to both dogs barging into the bathroom, sort of. You know, what are you up to? We're we're here to have a look, and now you can't mm -hmm. be on your own. Um, and then I'd sorted out some laundry and a couple of other bits. And then I realised I was stood at the top of the stairs because Mocha usually went downstairs first and then I went down and then Coco always waited for me. And the two yes. of them stood there like a couple of chumps because Mocha hasn't come to lead the downstairs procession. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to be waiting a long time. Um, yeah, but you're general. <laughs> yeah, but she's in a lovely box. Let me see if I can find the picture. It's just a cardboard, they call it a scatter box, which it's not a very flattering name, is it? No. Uh, it says, gone from our sight, but never our memories, gone from our touch, but never our hearts. Oh. And I, I, I obviously was, I misjudged the, um, how soon it was appropriate to do a joke with Mike about it, because I said she was the best behaved she's ever been in the car on the way back from the vets. <laughs> Cos I'm chuckling and he just was just tumbleweed at the other end of the phone. Uh, and then I said, um, and the box is on the armchair at the moment. And I really don't know whether to tell her off because they've never been allowed on the furniture. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm laughing, Jake's laughing, Mike, stony face on the phone, utter silence. So he's probably gone away for a, a wee greet, as my mother says, a little cry. It's probably because he's not been around to get used to the fact that she's gone yet. Yeah. Uh, Whereas possibly. you you are used to having just one dog there now, aren't you? Yeah, and do you know, I'm going to sound really horrible now. It is so much easier to keep the floor clean because Mocha was the one who shed the most hair. Um, okay. And I'm vacuuming less and sweeping less, but the floor looks as it ever did you know it i'm sorry i'm just having to cover my nose at the moment my dog is not oh. is he boffed <laughs> i was disgusting out there how lovely well does that put you in the mood to sing us out because we're we're over time <laughs> I don't know because if I open my mouth, I might actually taste it rather than smell it. Okay, I was thinking uh, blowing in the wind might be appropriate. <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. Did you wake yourself up with that one? I'm not surprised. It's a disgusting dog. Oh, I gave him some um, slightly out of date eggs for his breakfast. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> we're always eating out of date eggs did you not like the eggs <laughs> okay what what am i singing um blowing in the wind maybe i don't know if i know that one uh wind beneath, that one? wind beneath my is bob dylan oh, 
I don't know, any Bob Dylan? The answer my friend is blowing, the answer they say is blowing in the wind. No? Oh, oh yeah, I do know that one. Ah. My friend is blowing in the wind. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, so Emma, will you stop the howling? It's just it's really loud and distracting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take this dog out. <laughs> so this is how far I've got. Oh, it's looking good. As as the world descends into chaos. Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. <laughs> but you know, I'm knitting, so that's a good thing. It's a good that sign. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Good, good for right. my mental health and equilibrium. It is definitely. Okay, okay. Right. Well, I will see you next time, and hopefully, my dog will not be quite so smelly. Yeah. So you're going to count us down to the singing. I will do. I will, I will do. See you next time. Five, four, three, two, one, Bye. and.